Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, I'm finally ready to review my two lime pseudo loggers. One made with crispy yeast by Escarpment Labs, which is a Kvike blend, and the other made with SO4, but fermented under pressure. So we're gonna see how these go. Um, first things I notice, the SO4 is definitely hazier. Uh, the crispy is much more clear, though they still have some time to clear all the way out. Um, I actually find these with gelatin, but it was only like two days ago, and I also just like transferred them two days ago. So as per the usual, they're probably a little undercarbed. Um, these were both made with lime juice and lime zest, and let's see if it comes through. All right, let's start with the crispy. I definitely get some lime. Um, it does like you pick up the citra as well because there's like a little bit of orange tangerine-ness uh, grapefruity to it, um, which is definitely the citra. But I think the lime zest actually adds to it. Oh, it smells so good, so refreshing. Okay. Okay, let's smell the other one first, I guess. So this is the SO4. This one actually has less of a um, like tropical aroma until you actually swirl it and then it smells amazing. This one smells like way more tangerine, like um, a little bit of lime you get. Mm. Wow, they both smell like they're perfectly suited for this hot day. All right, so. The crispy. It's super light. Definitely feels like a lager. Very watery. Um, makes me want to just chug it, kind of. It, you get the lime, but it's a pretty, um, pretty soft. Uh, I, w I don't want to say nondescript because I definitely can taste it, but it's subtle. Um, it's nice. It doesn't like punch you in the face like you just like took a bite of lime. It's not like a margarita. It's tart, but that's it pretty much. It's like a little tart, a little sweet, um, but also dry. It's making my mouth water. It's making me want to drink it more. It's just like, you can tell it's a low ABV beer. These are only about 5%, five and a half percent. And wow, this actually turned out, this is a shareable beer, that's for sure. I'm gonna have to gift some of my neighbors this one for the hot summer we're about to have. Awesome. All right, go to SO4, the slightly hazy version. You know, this one kind of tastes more like a blonde. It's definitely sweeter, which makes sense because SO4 is an English ale yeast versus the crispy, it's like literally meant to taste like a lager. The SO4, it just kind of keeps the malt in play. Um, and this was only two row and Pilsner malt, I think half and half. And wow. It's so surprising how, like, you can obviously tell that yeast has a part in flavor just based on these two beers. And though this was pressurized, which is kind of supposed to keep the, like, esters down, it did keep some of the aroma down, I think, but it um, didn't keep the yeast from, like, performing as expected when you're thinking of an English ale yeast. This is pretty much a what I would call a blonde versus I would call this a pseudo lager. Now that I'm on my second taste, I pick up some of the lime. Ooh, I don't know which one I like better. This one's sweeter. This one's definitely more crushable. Ooh, these are both really good beers, but both distinguishable. Um, yeah, wow. 
This one's also more carbonated because it fermented under pressure. So they carbonated for like two days at 30 PSI, but that wasn't enough for this guy, but it was perfect amount for this guy. So I'm just gonna let it sit at serving pressure and it'll eventually just carbonate itself as I let it sit because we're not gonna drink these all in a day, I promise. Though, might be possible. Only if the pool is clean and not 60 degrees though. This, um, the SO4 one definitely has more body. It's, um, it's almost got a pillowy body um, like you would experience in a New England IPA. It's, but you know, it's not like a hazy, it's like on the verge of like the pillowiness, um, but I kind of like it. It's definitely not as dry, which makes you want to drink more, but there's something that's really like savorable about this. I would drink this one much slower than I would the crispy, but I think they're both amazing beers. I'm like actually kind of surprised they both turned out so well. You know, despite my best efforts in doing a good experiment, I am no scientist, as you all know. Um, so what happened with these is the SO4 performed like expected. The temperatures in the garage when I was fermenting it ranged from about 50 degrees to about 84 degrees. So being under pressure saved the SO4 because if this yeast got to like over 75 degrees non-pressurized, it would have been a nightmare and undrinkable. The crispy, <laughs> thank goodness it is a Kvike because I forgot to plug in my heating control. Um, so on my Plato airlock, the graph of the temperature is bonkers. It's like 50 degrees, 84 degrees, 50 degrees, 84 degrees. And I finally like looked at it and was like, oh my God. Okay. So, and then turned it on and um, it finished fermenting under normal, like at 68 degrees, but it definitely had a wild ride in the beginning. And I'm honestly like really happy it turned out well, because like I also didn't like fully remember which yeast I put in which fermenter. So I looked back and realized, oh, the Kvike is in the non-pressurized tank. So we should be good because Kvike can ferment cleanly at really high temperatures. And I mean, the only thing that could have really gone wrong with this one is it might've stalled out at the low temperatures um, like if you're not making a lager, you don't want to ferment to 50 degrees, like, cause it'll take forever. Your yeast can't really do much. They're very slow. They're like, kind of like bugs. Like when yeast is warm, they can move around and stuff, but when they're cold, they go to sleep much like bugs. So yeah. Um, again, turns out you can make great beers, even if you screw up some stuff and <laughs> thank goodness because I screw up so many things all the time. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this encourages you to test your luck at a lime pseudo lager. This is perfect for summer. Uh, I it will definitely be brewing this again for a pool party. Um, and my advice, if you don't have temperature control or a way to do pressurized fermentation is to use a Kvike blend. Um, this one was Escarpment Labs Crispy. They have a whole range of um, Kvikes that they've been screwing with that are, I mean, I've, I've liked every one I've used so far, but if you do have the chance to either pressurize ferment or um, keep your fermentation temperatures at a really steady click, um, try making one of these with SO4. You, I think you'll get a really surprising re result if you're used to like, I don't know, making IPAs with SO4. It, it plays really well with a very, very, very low hopped beer. I think this IBUs on these were like 15. It's, there's an, almost no hop. Like you can pick up a little bit of the hops fruitiness and the aroma, but other than that, it tastes like it's just malt and lime. Um, malt and lime, that's not a bad name. All right, well, I'm rambling. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. And if you wanna check out the brew day video, you can go here and I'll see you guys next time.